Hi, I'm Julia Canello and welcome to Wastewater Wednesday. So today I'm going to be talking about the circular economy and the role of water within the circular economy. Let's start with what is the circular economy and the Ellen MacArthur Foundation has done a really good job defining the circular economy, different solutions, different ways that companies are addressing it and adopting circular practices. So I highly recommend that you go check them out. But the essence of it is today's economy is built on, you know, make, use, dispose. So a very linear model of consumption. And this is true, you know, with our clothes that we wear, with our phones, with uh, everything that we're buying today. But companies are really starting to think about how they can improve this, they're, they're both in the production as well as um, on the consumer side. And it's driven not only from a sustainability and environmentally responsible um, thing to do, but it's also driven by, in some countries or regions, legislation and regulations that mandate companies need to be doing this. And it's also driven by cost savings, because if you're minimizing the waste in your processes, your manufacturing processes, you're going to be minimizing your cost. So there's a clear value driver there as well. And lastly, consumers care. So today's consumer really does care more about the way that their products are made, the way that their end of life is expected, uh, the length of the product life. So this is important to consumers as well. So if we look at water and how does water play into this? Um, really water is by definition, infinitely circular in its nature we are still drinking the same water that dinosaurs had available to them or before dinosaurs. As my kids like to say, we're drinking dinosaur pee. <laughs> <laughs> so water is infinitely recycled. But um, the challenge is, do we have the water quality that's needed for, for the purpose that it, it, we're using it for, whether that's drinking water or production processes and water quantity? So is the water accessible where it needs to be, you know, in the same quantity that's needed? Um, and so these two factors really play into the circularity of water in production and manufacturing. And so it's really about how can you minimize the use of water coming in, so your fresh water usage, as well as how you can um, recover value and resources on the back end. And that helps to enable the circularity. So those two different things. One is the water use coming in and an important way to think about the circularity of water and wastewater within a manufacturing operations is to actually recycle the water used and use that same water again. And there are a number of different factories and facilities around the world that are doing zero liquid discharge or minimum liquid discharge. So they're really trying to get to the point where the wastewater coming out the end of the pipe is actually not wasted, it's just recycled back through operations. So that's one way. And then the second way is really around resource recovery. And resource recovery could be biogas, using an anaerobic digester to capture methane, burn it as clean energy source to power the, the facility. It could also be nutrient recovery or minerals or other uh, pollutants, constituents that are uh, present in the wastewater. So what are we doing at AquaCycle to really enable water circularity? So when it comes to water reuse and recycling, we take the tough stuff, the stuff that really is most challenging to treat, and we remove the, the bulk of, of the pollutants, especially organic pollutants like biological oxygen, oxygen demand, total suspended solids, and by removing the bulk of those constituents, we enable on-site reuse with complementary technology. Um, one example of how we're doing this is at a distillery in Aspen, Colorado, where we've partnered with uh, an MBR to enable agricultural reuse of the water. So the second way that AquaCycle plays into the, the circularity of water is in resource recovery. And we don't generate any methane, but we do generate small quantities of DC power, which we can store in a battery 
and could be used for uh, small electric vehicle charging or other uh, uses. Um, but the main benefit that we have in terms of the power consumption is actually by treating the majority of the organic matter on site. We're mitigating about 90% of energy needed to treat it downstream. So we're actually saving about 90% of the greenhouse gas emissions that would otherwise have been generated. So that's how uh, we play into this, the circularity of water and I hope that you've enjoyed this Waste Water Wednesday.